Hey guys, it's Andrew from the blog Pine and Prospect Home. Today I want to talk about decorating with thrift store decor. I think there is a huge misconception about thrift store decorating and a lot of times I think people avoid it because they're afraid that thrift stores are filled with just old junky things and they're smelly and thrift store decor looks cluttered and I want to prove you wrong today. I truly believe that thrift store decor can be beautiful if it's used the right way. So I have five tips that I wanna share with you today. If you've been following along for a while here, you know that most of my home is in fact thrifted or secondhand. And I don't think that you need to have hundreds of dollars to create a beautiful collected home. And so let me share these five tips with you today. I hope they are a help to you if you find yourself struggling whenever you go thrifting because you're not sure what you should purchase and what you should just leave at the store. So my first tip for you today when decorating with thrift store decor would be to consider your style. Now, my style is very much English country cottage, but on a more minimal uh, side of things. So sometimes we think English cottage and we do think the floral wallpapers, the frilly pillows, the cluttered shelves, the uh, pictures all over the wall. That's not so much the English cottage that really draws me in. Uh, I lean more towards the stone, the beams, the copper, the rustic farmhouse table with a single pitcher full of fresh flowers on the center. So a very minimal rustic uh, English cottage style is what I lean towards. So. When you are shopping for thrift store decor, I want you to consider your style. So as you're scrolling through Pinterest and you're discovering what your style is, sort of jot those things down that you truly love and next time you go thrifting, you'll have a better idea of what to look for. I remember when I first started decorating our home and I hadn't really uh, discovered what my style was yet. I was still a little bit all over the place. I liked coastal, I liked farmhouse. Um, and now I feel like I really know what I love and when I go thrifting I don't feel overwhelmed I don't feel like oh my goodness where do I start because I know what elements I'm looking for so that's my first tip for you consider your style go on to Pinterest study those elements and make a list for yourself so you know what to look for all right, so my second tip for you when decorating with thrift store decor is to look for one-of-a-kind pieces when you're thrifting. Now, if you start thrifting long enough, you're gonna start to see the same things over and over again. There's just certain dish sets and certain furniture styles from uh, different eras that you just, you see a lot of. And I can remember when I first started thrifting and I was trying to decorate our home, Sometimes I was tempted to buy anything and everything. Um, if it was a cheap side table, I would pick it up, even though it was made of, you know, junky wood. Now I'm a little bit more picky, and I like to look for pieces that are one of a kind. Is this something that I could find anywhere? Is this something that I've seen a hundred more times? Um, if not, then I would say snatch it up. <laughs> so uh, a perfect example of this would be the three-tiered basket in my entryway. What an amazing thrift store find. $15. I have to give my mom credit. She's the one who found it, sent me a picture. She was thrifting. I was on the fence about it because I didn't know where I would use it. She said, Andrea, this is so unique. I haven't seen anything like this. And you know what? She was right because since then, I have struggled to find something even new for you guys that is similar to, to that three-tiered basket. But uh, for $15, it was so unique and so different. Something I hadn't seen before, I had to bring it home with me and just make it work somewhere, find a spot for it. So look for those unique, one-of-a-kind pieces when you're thrifting that people will see in your home and think, wow, I haven't seen that anywhere else. My third tip for you today when decorating with thrift store decor is to look for larger statement pieces rather than 
filling your cart with a bunch of littles. So again, this sort of goes back to discovering and, and kind of honing in on what your style is. But so often in the beginning of my decor and decorating journey, I would get all these little things, little candlesticks, little baskets, little plates, little pitchers, and I would just have all these littles that I would come home with and sort of placed all over the house. They didn't really make that big of a statement. And over the years, I've discovered that my style is much more minimal, simplistic. I think that with thrift store decor, where people get in trouble is just loading every surface in their house with so many little things that your eye does not even know where to go. So if you are like me and you tend to really be drawn towards more minimal style, simplistic decor like I am, then I would start looking for larger statement pieces rather than a bunch of little things. I think of that huge basket on the wall in my dining room that was $5 at a thrift store. Uh, that's a larger item. Uh, something like a beautiful, just old piece of pottery or, or a vase of some kind, for example, that you could stick in the center of your table rather than coming home with a bunch of uh, one or two dollar, you know, glass vases. Less is sometimes so much more. And that's where people get into trouble with thrifting. They think they just have to buy every little thing that's cute instead of looking for that one beautiful piece of enamel ware that would look gorgeous with fresh flowers or uh, that one really pretty basket that would just be gorgeous all by itself on the wall. Um, maybe a beautiful piece of artwork. So that's my next point. Look for larger statement pieces rather than constantly coming home from the thrift store with boxes of all of those little things. So you might be watching this thinking, Andrea, I've seen areas in your home where you do have a lot of little things. Um, and one area that I'm thinking of specifically would be, for example, in my dining room. I have these open shelves with decor on them. And how do we go from, you know, having this cluttered look to uh, creating a look that feels cohesive and collected. Well, I would say when it comes to areas like my dining room shelves, for example, I like to stick to a theme. Whites, glassware, uh, touches of blue, woods, and maybe even some marble. I know that's a lot of elements there, but I'm gonna show you my shelves just to give you an idea. There are a lot of elements on my dining room shelves, but somehow the look pulls together. It feels cohesive because I'm sticking to the same themes. If you stick with the same theme, you'll go from feeling cluttered to feeling more cohesive in a space. All right, so I've given you four tips so far. I have told you to study your style, go on to Pinterest, look for the elements that really speak to you before you go thrifting, and that way you know what it is to shop for. Number two, I said to look for one-of-a-kind items, things that are unique. Number three, look for larger statement pieces rather than filling your cart with littles. Number four, if you do purchase littles, make sure they are cohesive, make sure you're staying within a certain theme. So my final tip for you today, again, ties back into that first tip that I shared with you when it comes to style. But I would say one thing that takes a home from feeling sort of like you just put thrift store decor everywhere is mixing old and new. Combining vintage pieces with sort of uh, modern elements. Uh, when you look at my living room, for example, I have a newer couch and two chairs that are new as well. I mean, I've had them for four years now, but they are newer furniture pieces rather than all of my decor and all of my furniture being vintage. I have some new mixed with old. And again, my style might be completely different from yours. Maybe you love that 1970s uh, sofa that you have and you want to hang on to that. That's totally fine. But sometimes I think when we combine 
the old with the new, the vintage with the modern, it can create this really beautiful feel within your home and and keep it from feeling stale and grandma and make it feel more, no, no offense to you grandmas, I know I have a lot of grandmas that watch my YouTube channel, um, but it can keep your home from feeling sort of stale to feeling more fresh and feeling like a breath of fresh air. Um, just constantly looking for ways that you can combine the old with the new. So lighting would be a perfect example of this, okay? I've got lots of vintage elements happening in my living room, in my dining room, in my sunroom where I am right now, but my light fixtures are newer. I'm not against purchasing older lamps. I have purchased them before. I've even uh, given them makeovers. Um, but that's just an example. Combining old with the new will help to keep your home from feeling dated. So I talked about lighting, some other things that I like to purchase new if I'm able to would be pillows and pillow covers. Um, again, I have purchased vintage ones before. I have purchased thrift store pillow covers before. It's all about the balance. Blankets, pillows, rugs, uh, kitchen towels, those are things I would probably purchase new. So I hope that point makes sense to you. And again, I'm sort of focusing really on what I've done over the years. Obviously, your style could be completely different. And uh, maybe you love mid-century modern. Maybe you love, um, I don't even know, fill in the blank, whatever it is. Just stick to the style that you love and I think that thrift store decor can be an amazing way to save hundreds of dollars as you decorate your home. So I hope these five tips helped you guys. If you are new to my channel, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.